This one killed many on Shao Kahn's behalf. On behalf of them, you die. Uncanny Carlos. Amigos, she has arrived. Welcome to another unboxing video. Today we complete the Femme Fatale collection by PCS because we will be unboxing the Kitana 1 3rd scale classic statue by PCS. This is my most anticipated statue ever. I first heard about these statues back in July of 2022 and immediately I knew that I had to get all three. So it's been almost a two year wait to complete this collection. Make sure to watch my Jade and Melina unboxing videos if you haven't seen those. Kitana is my favorite character of all time, not just in Mortal Kombat. On top of that, her ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 skin is one of my favorite versions of Kitana. That is why I am beyond excited to add a 1 3rd scale classic statue of Princess Kitana to my collection. Kitana started as an unplayable character named Kitsune during the early development of the original Mortal Kombat game story by John Tobias. Kitsune and Katana were ideas for her name that were rejected. Kitana's name was eventually created as a combo of Kitsune and Katana. Kitana made her official debut in Mortal Kombat 2 in 1993 as Shao Kahn's deadliest assassin. She is known for her steel fans that have become so iconic in pop culture. After learning the truth about her family and Edenia, the 10,000 year old Edenian princess turned on Shao Kahn and aligned herself with Earthrealm's champions to defeat the Emperor. Kitana would eventually free Edenia and reunite with her mother, Sindel. Kitana has defeated and killed her evil clone, Melina, multiple times throughout the Mortal Kombat timeline. Unfortunately, Raiden messed up the timeline in Mortal Kombat 9, which led to Kitana's death and becoming one of Quan Chi's revenants. Revenant Kitana and Liu Kang would later rule as Empress and Emperor of the Nether Realm. Thankfully, in Mortal Kombat 11, Raiden summons a younger version of Kitana from the past to bring down Kronika. Kitana rallies Outworld against Shao Kahn and goes on to defeat him in a one-on-one -on -one battle to become the Empress of Outworld, Kitana Khan. In the new era created by Fire God Liu Kang, Kitana is now the younger twin sister of Melina. Kitana is loyal to her sister who becomes a new empress of Outworld. It will be interesting to see where this new era takes Kitana's and Melina's relationship. I have a feeling Melina will lose her mind and turn on Kitana, which will reignite one of the best rivalries in Mortal Kombat history. Kitana has been a playable character more times than any other females in Mortal Kombat. You will always see a Kitana cosplayer at any Comic Con in the world, that you go to. Kitana is a female phase of Mortal Kombat and is one of the most popular and beloved characters in video game history. I can talk about Princess Kitana all day, but we have a statue to unbox. Long story short, Kitana is the GOAT. All right, let's get started. Kitana is so beautiful that even her box is beautiful. I love the light blue. Kitana's fans are huge, you can see one sticking out. You always start with the base of course. The addition size of this statue is 400 and I have number 85. As you guys know, this base is inspired by the classic Deadpool stage. This is a blue version so it is meant to be water instead of acid. I wasn't too excited about this base when I first heard of it, but boy was I wrong. The vibrant blue paint used for the water is amazing. I am completely sold on this base.
Kitana is a heavy girl, so you need to be careful when picking her up. Her steel fans are some of the most iconic weapons in all Mortal Kombat, so PCS had to nail her fans, and they did. A home run for sure because her fans look identical to how they look in Mortal Kombat 11. They do feel thin and fragile, so I'll need to be super careful when handling them. Her fans look fantastic. Unlike Melina, Kitana does come with two portraits. Mask with bun version and unmasked with hair down version. Kitana looks stunning. I love the shade of blue used for her outfit. Looks great with the lighter blue base. I love this classic masked with bun look for Kitana. Takes me back to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, good old days when life was simple. The detail and texture on this fully sculpted statue is fascinating. Mortal Kombat 11 took these classic skins to a different level and PCS brought them to life. The height is 30 inches, width is 14 inches, and depth is 13 inches. You can't go wrong with classic Kitana, so it'll be tough to not pick this version. She looks outstanding. Now let's see her unmasked portrait. I'm still sad that Melina didn't get an alternate portrait. Hopefully PCS will fix that in the future. You should be very careful when swapping her heads to not scratch or damage anything. Kitana is known for having long, beautiful black hair and this unmasked portrait completely delivered. Her face is so beautiful, inspired by Mortal Kombat 11 Kitana. The mesh and leather on her chest is the only mixed media on this statue. Everything else is polystone. Her boots look great. That blue paint used for the base is unbelievable. I can't get over it. PCS Flawless victory with those fans, A+. Her long flowing hair looks spectacular. Which portrait do you prefer? Tough choice, but I think that I'm going to go with the unmasked portrait for now since Jada and Melina are masked. Overall, this Kitana one-third scale classic statue by PCS is incredible. I absolutely love it. It is the best Kitana statue ever made, and it is now my favorite statue in my collection, maybe only behind MKX Goro. This is where I ended up placing Kitana Khan. The Fen Fatale collection is now complete and is the center of my collection. Look how massive these one-third scale statues look next to one-tenth scale statues. I think one-third scale is my new favorite size for statues. They have so much more presence than one-tenth or quarter scale statues. Now let's take a minute to identify the main differences between Jade, Kitana, and Melina 
besides their outfit, of course. Melina and Kitana have the same earrings, but Jade does not. Another difference is the stake in Melina's hair bun. She's the only one with that. Melina also has demonic eyes as we discussed in her unboxing video. Also, Melina is the only girl with sideburns. Another difference is of course the base. Melina has blood, Kitana has water, and Jade has green acid from the classic Deadpool stage. My friends, I would like to know who are your top three female characters in Mortal Kombat? My number one is definitely Princess Kitana. She's the GOAT. My number two is Melina, another amazing character. My number three is tough. It is between Jade, Sindel, and Lee Mei, but I think I would go with Lee Mei. Hey guys, check out my friend Gigi Rockets on Instagram. Her art is amazing. You guys can find her on Instagram at GG Rockets. Please let me know in the comments who your top three female characters are in Mortal Kombat. One year ago, I was finally able to purchase my first house, which allowed me to dedicate an entire room in my house to my Mortal Kombat collection. That includes statues, figures, props from the 90s Mortal Kombat movies, every Mortal Kombat game released in the US, VHS, vinyl records, magazines, comic books, art, pins, socks, t-shirts, and much more. Check out my Mortal Kombat room tour video to see my entire Mortal Kombat collection. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you guys. I'll be back very soon with more unboxing videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Uncanny Carlos.